Hi, this is Matt McEwen, and today I want to talk to you about the Sustainable Groundwater Management Act. Um, we refer to it as SIGMA, that's the acronym, and what, it what we're talking about when we use that acronym, we're talking about how to keep our aquifers sustainable for future generations. So one of the techniques to be sustainable is being able to capture this extra water that we've had from all these storms. Behind me, this is Wachumna Ditch. Um, it's running with water. Just a few weeks ago, we had a tremendous amount of rain and farmers who were able to would take that water, what we call flood release water, and they would put it onto their property. And so I'm standing right beside me here is, is a 40 acre ranch that I had just recently brokered. Um, and my clients closed escrow on it. And as soon as that water was available, they quickly made an uh, impromptu sinking basin and were able to sink a lot of water. He's got pumping credits now. So, so in the future, all farmers are gonna have to look at, at what they're allowed to pump annually. And if they can, create a bank account, you know, on wet years where we have extra rainfall and extra water that's available, if we can take that water and we can sink it on our properties or in other basins that, have, uh, that farmers have put together collectively, they can draw on those, uh, those groundwater credits for, uh, for leaner, drier years in the future. And I think for farmers in the future to be able to uh, live under the regulations of Sigma and to have a sustainable aquifer, we're going to have to think and do things like that. Recharging basins, micro drip, being able to trade water. So those are going to be ways that we're going to keep the aquifer sustainable. And I just thought I'd share this uh, brief little moment and talk to you about what some, some farmers are doing here in the valley.